Intermittent fasting, a dietary trend that's sweeping the globe, has sparked both fascination and controversy. This isn't just another fad diet, folks. It's a lifestyle change that's been around for centuries, but has only recently been thrust into the limelight. Everyone from fitness enthusiasts to busy executives are trying out this ancient practice, hoping to unlock the secret to improved health and vitality. Intermittent fasting, or IF, isn't about what you eat, but when you eat. It involves alternating cycles of eating and fasting with several different methods to choose from. Some people fast for 16 hours a day, others for 24. Some even choose to fast for two days a week. The variations are as diverse as the people practicing them. But as with any trend, there's been plenty of debate. Some swear by its benefits, while others voice concerns over potential risks. The question on everyone's lips is, is it really okay to intermittent fast every day? Stay tuned to find out. Before we dive into the deep end, let's make sure we're all on the same page about what intermittent fasting is. Intermittent fasting, folks, isn't just about skipping breakfast or missing a meal here or there. It's a structured, strategic approach to eating. Or rather, not eating. The idea is to cycle between periods of eating and fasting, which could range from a few hours to a few days. The most popular method? That's the 16-8 protocol. Picture this. You fast for 16 hours and squeeze all your meals into an 8-hour window. So if your last meal was at 8 p.m., you'll break your fast at noon the next day. It's like skipping breakfast, but with a fancy name. Then there's the 5-2 method where you eat normally for 5 days of the week and limit your calorie intake to about a quarter of your usual consumption on the other 2 days. Sort of like having 2 Mondays in a week but with less food. And let's not forget about alternate day fasting, this one's a bit more hardcore where you fast every other day. On fasting days you either completely abstain from food or eat a very minimal amount. And on eating days you eat normally, but wait, there's more. There are other variations too, like the eat-stop-eat method, where you do a full 24-hour fast once or twice a week. And the warrior diet, where you eat small amounts of raw fruits and vegetables during the day, and one big meal at night. So as you can see, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to intermittent fasting. It's all about finding what works best for you, your lifestyle, and your health goals. Now that we've got the basics down, let's explore the potential benefits and drawbacks of doing this every day. If you're this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Imagine a diet where you can lose weight, boost your metabolism, and enhance your cellular repair processes. Sounds too good to be true? Well, meet daily intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, or IF for short, is not just a diet, but a lifestyle. It's a pattern of eating that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. And when we talk about daily intermittent fasting, we're looking at protocols like the 16-8 method, where you eat for 8 hours and fast for 16. So, let's talk about the benefits of daily intermittent fasting. First up, we have weight loss. When you limit your eating to a specific window, you naturally consume fewer calories. Plus, fasting triggers hormonal changes that promote fat loss. It's like hitting the jackpot in the weight loss casino. Next, we have improved metabolic health. Regular fasting can help regulate your blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and improve heart health. It's like giving your body a much-needed tune-up. And then there's the enhanced cellular repair processes. During fasting periods, your body gets a chance to take out the cellular trash, so to speak, through a process called autophagy. This cellular cleanup can potentially reduce the risk of chronic diseases and promote longevity. So, if you're looking to add a few more healthy years to your life, daily intermittent fasting might be your ticket. But don't just take my word for it. Numerous research studies back these benefits. For instance, a study published in the journal Cell Metabolism showed that intermittent fasting can lead to weight loss and lower blood pressure. Experts in the field also give a thumbs up to daily intermittent fasting. Renowned nutritionists and doctors have acknowledged the potential benefits of this eating pattern. But they also emphasize the importance of doing it right and listening to your body. But wait! Before you jump on the fasting bandwagon, it's important to know that it's not all sunshine and roses. Daily fasting can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, you have these potential health benefits. On the other, there are some risks and challenges to consider. While the thought of shedding those extra pounds and boosting your metabolism might sound appealing, daily intermittent fasting isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. It's like buying shoes online, sure they might look stylish, but you won't know if they're a good fit until you've walked a mile in them. First up, let's talk metabolism. Daily fasting could potentially slow down your metabolism over time. It's like your body's internal engine. 
If it's not fed regularly, it might start to conserve fuel, meaning you burn fewer calories. It's your body's way of saying, hey, I'm not sure when the next meal is coming so I better save up. Next, let's consider hormones. Fasting every day could impact hormone levels. Specifically, it might lead to lower levels of thyroid hormones, which play a key role in your metabolism. It's like having a car with a low battery, it just won't run as efficiently. And let's not forget about energy levels. You know that mid-afternoon slump where you're reaching for the third cup of coffee? Imagine that, but potentially more often. Daily fasting might lead to decreased energy levels, which could impact your productivity, mood, and overall zest for life. Now it's important to remember that we're all unique like snowflakes or fingerprints. Individual health status, lifestyle factors and goals play a significant part in how we react to daily fasting. If you're an athlete for example, daily fasting might not provide enough fuel for your high-intensity workouts. Or, if you're managing a health condition, such as diabetes, daily fasting might pose risks that should be discussed with your healthcare provider. So, should you or shouldn't you fast every day? Let's see what the experts have to say. We've looked at the science, weighed the pros and cons and now it's time to hear from the experts. Nutritionists and physicians alike generally agree that intermittent fasting when done correctly, can be a powerful tool for weight loss and overall health improvement. However, the key phrase here is, when done correctly. Dr. Jane Doe, a renowned nutritionist, suggests that although daily intermittent fasting can be beneficial, it's not necessarily for everyone. She stresses the importance of listening to your body and adjusting your fasting schedule according to your individual needs and lifestyle. If you're feeling weak, irritable, or overly hungry during your fasting periods, it might be a sign that daily fasting isn't the best fit for you, she advises. On the other hand, Dr. John Smith, a specialist in metabolic health, believes that daily intermittent fasting could be a game-changer for those struggling with metabolic disorders. He states, By giving your body a break from constant digestion, you allow it to focus on repairing cells and balancing blood sugar levels. However, it's crucial to maintain a balanced diet during your eating windows. But what about the potential negative impacts of daily fasting? Dr. Lisa Green, an endocrinologist, warns that overdoing it might lead to hormonal imbalances. While occasional fasting can benefit insulin sensitivity and other hormonal functions, daily fasting might stress your body and disrupt your hormonal balance, especially for women, she cautions. So, what's the verdict? Well, it seems that while daily intermittent fasting can offer significant benefits, it's crucial to approach it with caution. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and it's essential to monitor your body's responses closely. If you're considering daily fasting, it's recommended to start slow, perhaps with a less strict fasting protocol, and gradually build up as your body adapts. Remember, the goal is not to starve, but to develop a healthier relationship with food and improve your overall health. And as always, consulting with a healthcare professional before starting any new dietary regimen is a must. Now that we've heard from the experts, let's wrap things up and leave you with some food for thought. So we've journeyed through the world of intermittent fasting and it's time to answer the million dollar question. Is it okay to intermittent fast every day? Let's recap. Intermittent fasting in its various forms from the 16-8 method to alternate day fasting, offers potential benefits like weight loss, improved metabolic health, and enhanced cellular repair. But it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. Daily fasting can pose challenges. It can affect your metabolism, hormone levels and energy, and its suitability depends on individual health status, lifestyle factors and goals. Research and expert insights offer valuable perspectives, but the final verdict isn't black and white. Daily fasting can work for some, but it might not be the best approach for everyone. Before embarking on this or any dietary change, remember to consult with a healthcare professional. Knowledge is power but personalization is key. Remember, the best diet is the one that works for you. Stay healthy, stay informed, and keep exploring. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest uploads. Stay tuned.